Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome today to our session. Uh, we will discuss the jaw relation step. First of all, we take our primary impressions, then we take our secondary impressions, the patient mouse, and get our master cast. And on master cast, we make our record base. The instruments, mirror, prop, tweezer, torch, lighter, wax knife, carver, rubber pole, two metallic rulers, pencil, straight hand base and stone, and metallic plate. First of all, we make our record base on the master cast. We must check it must be retentive. Non-retentive record base may be due to field of adaptation of the resin on the palette or on the plate uh, over and under extension that not reach the full depth of the arcus or too much block the undercut. First of all, we must check the record base extension. The record base must reach the full depth of the arcus for upper and the lower. All the frenums must be open, the lipial frenum and the two buccal frenum. As we see, we must check the posterior palatal seal that the acrine must be adapted and reach to the posterior palatal seal. We must check the record base on the patient mouse. First of all, we check it on the cost, then we check it on the patient mouse. We put it in the rubber pole first, then we put in the patient mouse. We must check, must check that all the porters reach the full depth of the sulcus in the patient mouse and the uh, anterior lapier frenum and the two buccal frenum must be open. Check the palatal extension. How we take our pencil and mark our vibrating line and ask the patient to, uh, to say ah, after say ah, the soft palate drop behind this line and must check the base, the record base that we mark the post dam and we must make the scrubbing to the post dam area. Third, we must check the maxillary occlusal rim. First of all, we have five steps. The first step we check the retention, then we check the lip support that the nasolipial angle must be 90 degree to restore the lip support. We, uh, we add wax on the lipial area to restore the lipial support, as we see. Then the lip lens. As we say, as we said, first we check the retention, then we check the lip support, third the lip lens. The wax must be one or two millimeter below the lip line. If we have the normal lip, if we have short lip, we must have wax three millimeter below the lip line. If we have long lip, the wax must be above the lip line by 2 millimeter. As we see, we add wax to the anterior region to make the lip line or the lip lens 2 millimeter below the lip for the normal lip. Third, we must check the anterior plane. The anterior plane must be parallel to the interpupillary line and the posterior uh, plane must be parallel to the ala trigus line. The two rulers must be parallel to each other. If not parallel, we must trim the wax to the high area to reach the parallelism. In this case, we decrease the wax posteriorly to gain the parallelism of the two rulers. We trim the wax posteriorly and we must remove all the wax on the tuoprosty because we not make or we not set or make setting to the tooth on the tuoprosty area. We must have the wax on one plane. Now we check the parallelism for the posterior plane. We remove the wax on the tuoprosty. Because we not make setting on the tuoprosty area, 
we check the that all the wax on one plane and must follow the curve now after we finish the lip support and the lip lens and the interior plane and the posterior plane we must make the medium line or central line and the two canine line now we finish the maxillary occlusal rim now we begin to the mandibular occlusal rim now we remove all the wax on the retromolar area because we are not make setting on the tooth on the retromolar area as we said on the maxillary occlusal rim the posterior height must reach the two third of the retromolar bed and then we trim the wax before entering uh, the patient mouse to facilitate taking the adjustment the for the lower occlusal rim the anterior height should reach the corner of the relaxed mouse we remove the axis to make sure that all the lower occlusal rim in one plane We adjust the wax here we adjust the plane the wax not reach outside the border then we make our our vertical dimension here we make two points one point at the tip of the nose the other point at the tip of the chin here we will measure the vertical dimension at rest ask the patient to say um then measure the vertical dimension at rest the physiological rest position here is seven millimeter centimeter here ask the patient to guide the mandible to the centric relation then we measure the vertical dimension at occlusion here we get 7.5 centimeter we will tell you that the occlusal vertical dimension or vertical dimension at occlusion must be less than the vertical dimension at rest by 2 millimeter so we must have our vertical dimension at occlusion at 6.8 centimeter so we must reduce the lower from 7.5 centimeter to 6.8 centimeter here we reduce the lower wax then take put it in the patient mouse and put wax anteriorly to close this gap Measure the vertical dimension at occlusion. Here it becomes 6.8 cm. So the vertical dimension at occlusion here is less than the vertical dimension at rest by 2 mm. Ask the patient to say S, Z, S, H, C, H. So we must see that the freeway space is from 1 to 2 millimeters that's the difference between vertical dimension at occlusion and vertical dimension at rest here we tell you that how to take our centric relation that the patient must be in supine position put your index finger on the rim and reduce the mandible posteriorly and ask the patient to put the tongue at the tip of the palate and reduce the mandible posteriorly after we finish our upper and lower Occlusal rim adjustment and our vertical dimension we draw the two central line upper and lower and two canine line upper and lower and repeat the patient to close several times in centric relation to make sure that the patient to close in the same lines not make shift of these lines here we will close the upper and the lower together by making the index in the upper the index is triangle that the base of the triangle is 
toward the buccal area and the tip of the triangle toward the palatal area. We make this index in the molar area, posteriorly, in the upper occlusal rim. Then we put wax in the lower, in the same area, in the molar area as we make the index in the upper. Because this wax that we put in the lower will get in the index that we made in the upper and then they are closed together, tightly closed together, when we get it from the patient mouse. Here we put the wax in the lower occlusal rim, make a scratch in the wax. As we see, we make a scratch in the wax, the lower, then put the upper in the patient mouse and soft the lower wax and ask the patient to close in the centric relation to allow the wax in the lower to get fit in the index that we made in the upper closer rim and make sure that the patient close the lines together we trim the excess wax from the index and then get the upper and lower as one unit to make sure that they are tightly closed we put it in the water in the rubber towel to make sure that the wax is hardened If we take the two out, upper and lower, out of them, we make sure that the, we put it again in the index. Make sure that there are no touch heels in the cos and no touch heels in the acryl. Thank you for your listening and best wishes.